Today we're taking a look at the Microsoft Surface Go 4. It is a tablet that was released around a year ago, but how good is it? For the price they are about 600 euros, but that's for the Surface Go 4 only, which means you don't get this type cover, which you have to buy separately which is another 100 euros. So that's definitely not cheap, but it's also not the most expensive thing out there. And for that price, you will get an Intel N200 processor with 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage, which is really expensive in my opinion, because you can find laptops that have 512 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM for the same price. But then of course you don't have this small thin and light form factor. So you are really paying for the two in one design and the great build quality, because the build quality of this laptop is really good in my opinion. It's the same as the Surface Go 2 and 3 and there is a nice kickstand built into the device and I think that's great and you can position it at a lot of levels and it's also nice that it's built into the tablet so you don't need a case to put the Surface laptop down. You can't get an angle much more like this or this and it is about half a kilo so for the weight it's definitely not the lightest and here are the power and volume buttons which work great there's a usb-c port a headphone jack and a charging port what i would have liked to see is a full usb port but because technology is moving to usb-c it isn't that big of a deal and i really appreciate that there is a headphone jack on here and here on the bottom there's the connector for your keyboard and I really like this magnetic keyboard. You can quickly snap it on with the connectors here. And the typing experience is really good on this keyboard. It's really comfortable in my opinion. And the trackpad is also nice and large. And it has a good click to it. But it hasn't really improved from the older versions. And you can lay it down flat or move it up a bit. The battery life of this thing is pretty good, but it's also nothing amazing. So when you use it a lot, you can get about five to six hours out of it. But that is with multiple applications open. And it has a nice magnetic charging port, so that's great. It has a screen on the front that is 1920 by 1280, which is a little bit more than full HD. It is LCD and it sadly only runs at 60 Hertz. However, the brightness is great, so you can go really bright or really low. And the colors look great in my opinion. It is a nice touchscreen that is really responsive. And it also has two front facing speakers that sound good for a tablet. It's not comparable to laptop speakers of course. And they aren't extremely loud. But they work pretty well and I like that they are stereo. And for unlocking methods it has Windows Hello face recognition. So that's really nice. You just look at the device and it unlocks immediately. And the 2-in-1 form factor is also nice. I can just use it like a normal tablet, search through the web and then if I want to use it as a laptop then I can just connect it and then I just have a normal laptop. But I do feel like the size of the screen is a little bit too small to use it as a full laptop and it runs on full windows which means that you don't really install apps from the play store but get full desktop applications and that's something that not a lot of other tablets offer so you can run more complicated stuff on here but keep in mind that it's not meant for gaming or video editing because doing the basic stuff is already pretty slow on here so the speed and the performance of this thing is just not great at all when you pay so much money for a device you expect it to run smoothly and fast but for example here i try to open paint and you can see that it takes a while before it opens of course it's not a big nightmare but Paint is a very light application, so for the price point, that's not great. And even doing basic stuff on here, like watching YouTube and looking at videos, yes, it works completely fine. But again, for the price point, I expected something better. So typing documents, watching YouTube videos on here, doing Teams calls, all work completely fine. But you don't want to do anything more than that on this machine. And it's also not extremely fast for the price. For the cameras, it has one here on the front and the back. And for a laptop, they are great. Of course, it's a tablet, so it's not meant for photography, but for doing Teams calls, it's fine. So, should you buy the Surface Go for? Well, in my opinion, no. So, it does have a great build quality, a really nice screen, a headphone jack and decent battery life, but the performance for this price is just not good. You're better off picking up an older Surface Pro for a cheaper price, and then you get a bigger screen and much better performance than this thing. So do you own the Surface Go 4 or are you planning on buying one? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching.